are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Praise God. I just want to bless God because God has given me another opportunity to be in the studio this morning uh, just to um, impact you, just to discuss with you. Uh, I just pray that the Almighty God, the Holy One of Israel, is going to be speaking through me today. Uh, today, I want to teach on how to win your family back. You want to win your family? You want to win your friends? Back from the hand of the enemy. The enemy has struck many homes. Today, we see some of our children carrying knives, shedding innocent bloods, killing one another. Today, we see in different homes, or maybe not directly, but indirectly, uh, we see many homes being affected by suicide. We see a lot of things going on, addiction from one place to the other. We see our children carrying guns. Now, this is not just peculiar to a particular sect. It's for every, even in the church, in the Christendom and outside the church, Everybody is facing it. If not directly, it is indirect. And so, please, I want you and all my viewers, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, walk with me. God has given me the, the understanding, the wisdom to overcome. The understanding, the wisdom to overcome this situation. It will not come near your dwelling, but it may go to somebody's dwelling, but we are all still part of one community. So we don't know who is go where it's going from here. But I pray by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus that God has started to do something to put an end to all this menace. So please, let's join hands together. I want you to support me. I want you to support this TV ministry support me in any way you can let us do it together it's going to be a series a series of teaching we're going to be talking about addiction drug use drug abuse knife why these things and what are the solutions and how what has god had in plan for these solutions these are things i'm going to be showing you and as we believe it and work with it together, we will start to see solutions. I've done this for many years with many families, with many relatives. It has worked and it will work for you. It will work for your friends. It will work for your families. It will work for everyone that is concerned in the name of Jesus. I want us to work as a team. Government has done so much. There, there, I mean, there's pre-solution, pre, pre there's pro-solution. Government is doing theirs. But we need to come together as a family and fight this demon and take this demon out of our homes. So many things are happening and we cannot be quiet. We cannot be silent. We cannot pretend we don't know. It's going on. It is real. Praise God. So please, I beg you once again, don't ignore this call. This is the time for you to work with me. Join your hands with me. Financially, we need your support. To continue this TV program, we need your support. It costs money to run it, but we need everybody's support because we don't want to be limited to just 30 minutes. We want to go one hour. It's a, it's a massive thing. It's something that's so important, but it costs a lot of money to run it. All right? So, support us. Let's go today to what we want to do. Um, I want to, I'm in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 13. And I will read from verse 24. Another parable put forth unto them, saying, Now, this is Jesus speaking to the people now. He said, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. I mean, it's more like saying the kingdom of God is like a man or a family, a mother and a, the husband, who built a good home. 
build good children, train them, send them to school, teach them how to become, how to respect elders. He taught them morals. Unfortunately, there's no morals today, any more taught in any school. So children are now learning from internet. They are learning from anywhere. Because there are no morals at home, there's no moral in school, there's no moral on the street. Right? So this, let's go back to the scripture. The kingdom of God is likened unto a man who sow good seed in his field. A man who taught his children, um, you have to respect the elders, you have to have confidence, you have to read your books, you have to be disciplined, you have to respect time, you have to do things the way it has to do, you have to love God, you have to go to church, you have to, he's taught his children every good thing, good seed. Don't lie, don't kill, don't, thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal. He taught the children all the commandment of God, he has sown good seed. You wonder some, some time when somebody says, oh, the pastor's children, oh, the church children, oh, these people who are religious, oh, these people who are serving God, these people, and sometimes you, you imagine that those things happening outside will not even be mentioned in the church. It will not even come near the body of Christ, but lo and behold, you need to know the, the venom. You need to see, know the, the decay that is going on even in the heart of our children. In fact, so many children are given to pornography, sins that they, their fathers would never imagine. So many things are going on and nobody is considering this. All right, let us, let us go further. The Bible said, but while men slept, verse 25, but while men slept, his enemies came and sowed tars among the wheat and went away. Wow. Parents, you've done a good job. You've sent your sons to school. You've sent your son to, 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 to university. You've trained them from primaries to secondary. You took them to church when you needed to. You sent them to Sunday school. They are part of the choir. They are workers in the church. But I, is, is that all? Is that all that you needed to do? Because look at it. That good man that did well, that put his house well, that sowed a good seed in his field, the man suddenly slept. Parents, you remember those days when prayer was the key in the house? You remember those days when the children, you, today, we, the parents are praying, we are fasting, the kids are not praying. We go to church, they only go to church because they just don't want to disappoint us, but are they going because they know what they are doing? Are they going because they love the Lord? Have you planted Christ in them or you have only planted church in them? If that's all you've done, you have slept. If, if, it's, if all you've taught your children is to become engineer, to become pilot, to become a, 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 a lawyer, to go to university, that's all you've taught. Listen, parents, there are the two different types of education. You can, your child can go to school that is education but also the home training the morals that you teach at home is another type of education on its own the third part of education is what they get on uh, from the social media that is the third part there are three strands of education it's not just school. That's why your son can be the best engineer in the world, can have a first class, can have a, a, a distinctions, a master's degree, but yet can still carry a knife. Because there's no morals. There's no fear of God. These things will not be taught on the streets. It will be taught at home 
and schools have stopped teaching it. Before, we used to teach it at home, then school would teach the rest, but now they've taken all that away from the school. So we are left, we need to double up our effort as parents. This is not the time to sleep. This is not the time to be weak. This is not the time to run after the affairs of the world. This is the time you need to double up your effort and raise your children to fear the Lord and be, be, do the things in the right way. Praise God. The Bible says, But while men slept, his enemies came quietly. The enemy didn't steal the child. He didn't steal the home. He didn't steal anything. He just sold. He just said, let me just drop. Let me drop ideas of pornography in the minds of these children. But why? Because an idol's mind is the devil's workshop. Tell me something. Most children are in their rooms watching films, playing games in their room. They take their food to their room. Within the house, they isolate themselves. They spend more time alone rather than spending time as a family. They eat alone. They do everything alone. They discuss with their friend on the phone. They spend more time with everybody outside than rather spending time with inside. So the family, the home has collapsed already. The home has, has disintegrated already. But they are still living together in the same shell. But there's something that's gone wrong fundamentally. Today, our children spend more time on games, on phones, on, 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 on other things, activities, more than the time they spend discussing with us. In the olden days, we spend more time with our parents. Our parents would talk, tell us tales, would tell us stories, would tell us this, and all those things were forming, they were forming a, a, a character in us. They brought real morals to us. But today, parents are too busy. Tomorrow, they are going to parties next week. They are after one project or the other. They don't have enough time. They are giving food. They buy food in the house. They shelter the children. They buy clothes for them. But their children are missing something. The moment they start missing something, somebody is going to supply what they are missing. Somebody is coming to your house it's coming to their mind. It's coming through the internet. It's coming to supply what they are lacking. And the Bible says, let's go further because of my time. You see, I told you on television is a lot of time, time, time thing. Now, but when the say, but when the mass left, his enemies came and sowed tars among the wheat and went away. He just said, let me just plant it. I don't need to do much. Just plant it. I know whatever I plant in those children, it will germinate. Where did your son get knife from? Did he see you stab anybody? No. Drugs from? Alcohol from? Sexual sins from? Where did they get them from? Yes, the world, the wider world is teaching them that. But what are you teaching them at home to balance it? I'm not blaming you. I'm not condemning you. I'm not judging you as parents. If your child is addicted to drugs, I'm not judging you. I'm not condemning you. If your child is suicidal, I'm not condemning you. I'm not judging you. If your child is, is, is involved in gun crime, I'm not judging you. I'm not condemning you. I've only come to help you to show you, and that's a series of what I'm going to be showing, is the intervention. How do we solve it spiritually? It's not all those problems that are spiritual. That's why sometimes when people have those issues, they pray and pray and pray and pray. They fast and fast and fast. They go from church to church to church. They go from deliverance, 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 because the Bible says my people perish, not because they're not praying, not because they're not fasting, but they perish because of lack of knowledge. That is what God has, in, <laughs> has equipped me to help you with. One is prayer, one is fasting, one is scripture, but 
this one that is making you, that is destroying the world, the wisdom, the divine wisdom of God. You cannot get it in a book. You cannot get it in a film. You cannot get it anywhere except it is given by God. So God has given me this wisdom to help you. So why will you not walk with me? Let's walk as a team. Let's overcome this demon. Let's, let's, let's make an open show of this demon. Praise God. But when the blade, the Bible says, but when the men slept, it said, verse 26, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared Taz also. So the servant of the household came and said unto him, he said to the master, Sir, did not thou sow good seeds in the field? Did you not sow good seed in the field? He was asking a question. From whence then at its stars? Where did these stars, the tongues, where did they come from? Did you not sow good seed in your child? How come your child is now smoking marijuana? How come your son is now living with pride and arrogance that you did not train him up with? The Bible said, train up your child in the ways of the Lord, and when they grow, they will not depart out of it. What is happening in the home today is appalling. What is happening to our children is appalling. You look around and you ask yourself, where is the fear of God in the heart of these children? Please, parents, I tell you this sincerely, without any reservation, you have slept. You've slept too much. You've left those morals, those foundations, those seeds that your parents, your parent, parents sowed inside of you. Where are those seeds? Those standards that you had, those things that, you, that made you who you are. How come you cannot replicate it in your children? I understand that the laws in the in the nation, the laws of the United Kingdom, is not is 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 holding back your hands, but there are better ways to do it without offending the law. These are the things I'll be teaching you. There's correction, there's abuse. There's a difference between correcting a child and abusing a child. So you can correct your child without abusing them. It's time for us to get up now. We cannot fold our hands and say we are praying, we are praying, we are praying. It's like somebody praying for food without you going to the kitchen to cook. Faith without works is dead. So don't waste your time or don't let somebody waste your time telling you it's all about deliverance. If you can deliver and deliver and deliver and that child will still be hooked on cocaine. That is not what you want. That is not what God wished for you. That is what, the, what your enemy wants to happen to you. It's now time for you to get up. You need to get up and say to the enemy, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I can't take it any longer. It's time for a change. Let's go further. So the Bible said, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth and appeared as also, so the servant, of, the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did not thou sow good seed in the field from whence come the tars? Then verse 28, the master answered, He said unto them, An enemy had done this. There's an enemy that wants to ruin marriages. There's an enemy that wants to ruin good homes. There's enemy that want to ruin the life of your children. There's enemy that want to hook up the mind of your children to sexual immoralities. There's, a, there's, there's, there's an enemy that wants your children to transgend from one thing to the other. That is not the will of God. There's an enemy in the mind of your children. There's an enemy that is trying to, 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 to take over, over, over your home and bring knife to your home and bring drug to your home and bring alcohol to your home and bring immorality to your home and bring unnecessary sin to your home. There's an enemy. Is what he has done is he has sown. He only sow and the rest will continue. Now you have known. What are your plans to overcome it? That's what I'm saying to you. Walk with me. Come and see wisdom of God that, that produces results. Come and see the wisdom of God that produces results. It will work for you. 
It has worked for many people. It has worked for many people. It will work for you. Now, let's go further. He said, an enemy had done this. The servant said to him, will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, you see, the guy was talking, let's go and gather. Your son, your son has started carrying knife. He said, let's go. And How do you separate the demon from him? The demon of knife, the demon of blood. Your son is blood testy now. That's not who he was. That's not the way you trained him up. How do you separate that? And that's what the servant was saying. Let's go and separate. And the guy said, no, you do not know there's a method. And that method is enshrined in the wisdom I'm going to be explaining to you. There's a wisdom. So the, but the servant said, let's go and separate them. Let's go and separate. Let's go and do something. And when you do something, you put your child at risk. You put your family at risk. You put everybody at risk. You put, ah, you know, and then you scatter things even more, more. There's always a method and a procedure that produces results. Elisha told us, he showed us how when the hacks fell down, there was a procedure. It produced results. If you do not understand procedures and how things work, you will mess up good things. Even you may have a good stand, you may have a good fight, you may end up losing everything. Some people that did not know what to do, they messed up children who were probably abused by drugs or abusing drugs. Either they are abusing drugs or drugs abusing them because they didn't know how to do it. Those children have they ended their lives. They ended up everything. They became suicidal because the parents did not know how to intervene. The, 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 the doctors, the hospitals did not know how to intervene. The society did not know how to intervene. And each time people miss this method of, inter, uh, of intervention, it ends up in, in, in destroying. Let me tell you something before I go further. I'm going to round up soon. The Bible said when God created heaven and heart in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, it said the heart was without form. And it was void and it was empty. Do you know that some children are void? They are empty. They feel a sense of emptiness. They feel a sense of darkness all around them. The Bible says darkness shall cover the people. It says gross darkness. A nation. Do you know what your children are feeling on the inside? Do you know what they are going through? Do you know that they, are, they may not even be telling you, they may not be discussing with you because you have not become their friend? You are their parent, but you are, not, you are not their friend. So they'll be telling a friend who is on internet. And that person will become their advisors. So you, are, you have children that has been mentored by an internet, that internet mommy. Is that not true? Oh, wait until we work together. I'm telling you, keep this program on. Don't let us shut it down. Don't let us stop it. Because when there's no fun, we'll stop, we'll stop it. But if we continue, we keep it on, I'm telling you, you will see the wisdom of God in, 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 in great manifestation. You will see changes. You will see life changes because it's a, it's, we're touching a wider audience. Not just you, not just me, not just two people. We are touching a wider audience, talking to many families and changing many lives. Praise God. My time is almost off. Let me just show you, share a few more. He said, an enemy has done this. But he said, the, the owner of the, the house now said, but he said, no, let, lest while we gather up the task, ye root up also the wheat with them. When you are trying to save my child, my child, you, you know, you can destroy my child. So let's use wisdom. Let's, I bet many people who have been you know, suicidal, my son is suicidal, my wife is suicidal, they want to kill themselves, but God intervened. I've had many families come for counseling, call me for counseling. Oh, my son is going through this. My husband is going through this. My families are going through this. But through divine wisdom of God, God turned lives around. I've, I mean, I cannot, I, I, I cannot continue. I can testify of God, of the goodness of God and the wisdom of God, but I want to be careful so I do not raise my own ego as a human being. So I'll just say a little. Praise God. Now, the man used wisdom. He said, I'm not just going to do it that way. I need to have a step. He said, but said, lest while we gather the task, you root up the, 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 the wheat, uh, you, you root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow. Ah, this is the danger now. Let both grow. 
Let them grow together. Sometimes when they all grow, when that attitude, that nonsense, that menace, that demonic thoughts in the child grows with the child, at some point it is difficult. So parents, when do we actually start to intervene? Do we want that demon to grow with the child before we start separating them? Or should we do it now? But if we are going to do it now, ow! This is not what you learn from university. This is not what you learn from somewhere. It must be divinely endowed by God. Every problem in this world, there's a solution with God. Not only in prayer, not only in fasting, but in divine wisdom that God releases. So, my time is up. I'm going to call you. You can see the number on the screen. Uh, please, we need your support. We need your assistance. Let's fight this demon. Let's take addiction away from our homes. Let's take knife away from our homes. Let's take uh, drugs away from our homes. Let's sanitize our home. Let's bring morals back to our home. This can only be done if we work as a team. Support this uh, uh, ministry. Support what we are doing and God will bless you. You and this will be hot. We'll continue to do it in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you. I'll see you next week. Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God.